Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of ROM Review. This is a series in where I will showcase different ROMs for Android devices. Today we are going to be taking a look at a ROM called the Marduk Stock ROM. I will be installing this ROM onto my Samsung Galaxy S6 which has the model number SMG920F. The only requirement for this installation is that you have TWRP installed. This is a custom recovery which allows you to flash custom ROMs. If you are unsure on how to install TWRP, check out the video in the description. The first part of this video will focus on how to install the ROM and the second part will be a tour slash review of the ROM. Okay, this is the only file you're going to need and that's the actual ROM itself. Now it's quite big, it's 1.28 gigs in size. And this ROM comes with everything already installed with it. So the Google Apps come with it as well. You don't need to flash a separate file. Once you have downloaded the ROM, I recommend placing it onto your desktop just so it's easy to get to. Okay, once you've done that, you want to connect your S6 to your computer. As you can see, here's mine. And when you click on phone, you should get this. This is basically your phone's internal storage. Now what you want to do is you want to copy this, copy to root of storage. Now as you can see I've already done that. Now this file on our phone is 1.28 gigs in size, same as that. So once you've done that we can now just flash the ROM using our phone. So let's go do that now. Okay. Firstly, make sure your device is powered off completely. As you can see, it's completely off. Now, to get into TWRP, you're going to need to hold the power button, home button, and volume up all at the same time. Keep holding those combination of buttons. And let go once you see this. Okay, we're going to select wipe advanced wipe and select all of this then swipe to wipe click the middle button to go home hit install and you should see the ROM on the bottom click that and then swipe to confirm flash now this is installing the ROM onto our device I'll speed this bit up and I'll be back once it has installed. There we go, the ROM has now been installed. As you can see it says done. And all you want to press now is reboot system. Now this first reboot may take anywhere between 5 to 10 minutes, just be patient and let it boot up. Now once again I'll speed this bit up and I'll be back once it has booted up. There we go, the ROM is now booting up. As you can see, Android is starting, and we should be greeted with a setup screen. There we go. Now, I'm going to go through this setup, and I'll be back once I'm on the home screen. Now, this setup is exactly the same as the, as the firmware that came with the phone. It's very straightforward, as you can see. All you have to do is follow the steps and connect to like the internet and stuff so as I said I'll do that and I'll be back once I'm on the home screen there we go we are on the phone phone's home screen now uh, that was a very easy setup as you can see that's all of the apps that come with the phone so now I'm gonna install all the apps that I would usually use get the phone ready and the second part of this video will be a review on the ROM. 
The ROM itself will be judged on three main categories, UI interface, app support and ease of use. At the end, I will come to a decision on whether the ROM is usable and whether it could be used as a daily driver. Let's start off with the UI interface. The UI is very clean and easy to use. Most of the Samsung bloatware is gone. This is a good thing as it will conserve storage space and increase performance. The UI is based on Android 7 and is running Samsung Home version 6.1. Overall, it's easy to navigate and looks good. If you don't like the look, you can choose a custom theme from the Samsung Themes app. As the ROM comes with the Google Play Store pre-installed, the app support will be great. As I said before, this ROM is on Android 7, meaning no app incompatibilities should be faced. This ROM does have support for other Samsung Gear products like the Gear VR and Gear Wear. The ROM is very easy to navigate. There are many options to change if you don't like the current setup. The ROM also comes with easy mode. This simplifies the home screen, making it even more easier to navigate than before. Overall, I've enjoyed installing and using this ROM as it's fast, stable and up to date. In my opinion, this is a great ROM for the Galaxy S6. Thanks for watching.